Hello everyone, welcome to JS Gigs and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be basically improving this particular application a little bit. And post that, we are going to be making the dashboard which appears in the center of the page. So in order to do this, firstly, we will have to improve the styling of the sidebar. As you can see that it is shrinked almost to the half of the screen. At the same time, we don't really have a user icon as it appears over here, if you can see. So now what we're going to do first is that we will improve this styling. We'll add the routing at the same time. We are also create the dashboard. So let's get rolling. So firstly, if you notice over here, you would see that uh, it, it only appears almost to the half of the screen. In order to make it work fully, what we're going to do is like we'll try to see if changing the style really works over here. Right. And we'll go here, here and All right, so we'll make it height 100%. Or the footer has basically gone below the viewport height. So how we're gonna fix it is by basically providing a cal calc function. So calc function is actually to calculate the CSS, and then we are gonna be making it for 56 pixel. And there you go. Now I can see that appears very well. At the same time, you may notice that when the page loads, it really does not open the sidebar so by default it is it remains closed so we are also going to be changing this but now we know what really needs to be changed so let me take you to the code and let me try to open the sidebar yep on the side note you may also notice that i have really committed all of the code so now whatever we are going to be writing in this chapter i'll commit later at the end of this tutorial so let me see this you put the style right and after this i am also going to be making some change in the sidebar configuration so in order to do this i'll just quickly open the app component and if you see that by default it is false so let me make it true here right and once you make it true and you change the styling so let me take you to the chrome and there you go now you can see that if you refresh the page by default the sidebar remains open and also it opens and closes like this right so we are good until here so now let me just try to fix this particular bit over here so now you can see that the logout and the other two options don't appear very well over here so in order to make them appear i will take you to the code and here at the code we have this particular code available here in nav bar let me putting it like this it looks like all of these styles are not being picked up right nicely right so let me see in the chrome browser if this is the case all right so now you can see that uh, you know all of it appears like some of these styles are not being applied to it so let me try it out here you can see this ul and there you go i think this ul needs to have few drop down in the styles let me try to fix that up so i'll take it with code and there you go the ul i think you missed a few styles let me put them here and let me try to take you back into chrome and there you go now you can see that this drop down also appears pretty well so all of these are aspect and things are working all right i think we are good here so let me close down everything so now there are i'm going to be making a few more changes okay so we are going to be this doing it grid this time let me come here and then first of all let me just comment out everything i'm going to be applying the classes such that it appears in grid so in order to have this in grid uh, what i'm going to do is like i'll just quickly define the skeleton first so as we had defined the top bar right over here so let me just quickly copy this here in the next section so the entire block or the entire container is is going to be falling under the top bar and this is going to be having a grid area as nav bar. Also, I think we will have to plan this first. So before I define nav bar or sidebar, I'm going to be defining the host component and the host component. How do we really distribute all these components differently? So nav bar, sidebar, and content. So let me quickly paste this here. Right. So 
as you can see here in the grid template area it's going to be having two rows the first is the navbar the second is the sidebar and the content so the, as you can see over here the column and the rows it's going to be auto f and one fr auto and one means that navbar is going to be holding the entire top position and the sidebar is going to be holding right after the navbar and it is going to be in the column in the two column layout auto and one fr right so now since we have defined it auto it means that we'll have to define the width of the sidebar and that's what we're going to be doing under the top bar class so let me come here so firstly i'll define the sidebar i'm basically planning all of these at this moment right so i'm not going to be really writing all of these classes right up i'm just going to be planning it for now and then quickly i'll implement the same in the html template as well right so the other thing i'm going to be having is the content section so let me define that as well under the content section i'm going to be having the grid area and transition and the sidebar is going to be having a grid area of sidebar as we have defined in the host component put it right here right and also it's going to be having a class let's say if this particular thing has a class open then the open class will be holding a width of 250 pixel and now i'm going to be putting the sidebar content right after this i'm going to be putting a class in which i'll define what needs to happen with the element if an open and a sidebar content is available the same element so let me define the opacity one visibility is visible and now i'm going to be defining now i am going to be putting this class template right view that once once again so the grid template is going to be having these two rows the nav bar and the, the let me see if i so the top bar is going to be the grid area. the class will apply here on the dashboard and the nav bar the sidebar is going to be applied i think it we've already defined it we do that as well right and i think we're pretty much this router idle outlet is also precisely something where the content will be displayed so let me define that under a div put this particular thing inside a div and let me apply the class over here so it's going to be having a class of top bar content select put this over here section rather so i think we are pretty much good over here now let me move this thing so i would need that commented code over anymore over here save this and take it to the chrome so there you go now you can see that this appears like that it appears open and then you can see that this particular thing appears 56 pixels above and it's for the reason that we had defined a div height inside this particular component so in order to fix that i'll quickly take you back to the code and here in the code i'll open the nav bar or rather the sidebar i'm going to be opening the i don't think so would need this and i'm going to be defining it like i think that's a benefit of having a grid a grid area that your 
layout is designed very very accurately right so i think we're good here and now all right so go ahead. there is a small typo so let me just remove this dot from here and i think now we should be sorted so let me quickly take you to the chrome and there you go now you can see that the sidebar appears pretty well it has it is well designed and here at the same time the drop down pretty well and like if i shrink expand this particular thing it works well right now what i'm going to do is like i'll just try to put the dashboard details inside it so that i'm going to be putting that in the route right so let me quickly take you back to the code and here in the dashboard who is like i already have a dashboard component let me just remove this before i start writing code over here i'll quickly take you to the chrome browser and here if you look at this particular template that we are trying to basically copy so you may notice that it takes a moment to load you may notice that right so we have this component and it is designed such that the dashboard appear first and then the chart all these four cards and below that you have a data table right so what i'm going to design it like this is that what in this particular case what i'm going to do is like i'm going to be designing it this way that the dashboard will hold these four primary warning success and danger card at the same time it's also going to be holding the chart however for the data table i'm going to be making a different component and the same right so um so let's see how our application at this moment looks like so this is how it looks like which appear so let me take you to the code and here at the code i'm going to be basically copying the entire template as is all right so i'm going to be just putting the template as is from here right so this particular template is again taken from the github repository let me try to put this or shrink this properly i don't think so i would need a data table at this moment so i'm going to do is yes, just remove this i don't think so i would need this let me just comment this out save this and take it to the chrome and still in the chrome you see that nothing appears and why does it happen so it's because we have not really defined the routes for this particular dashboard so in order to define the route we really need to open the route file so which is here and i think i had commented out these things so these i'm going to be commenting this here the component component and the same dashboard component would essentially land here at the camp component in the router out right so now let me quickly take you to the chrome and there you go now you can see that the particular component opens up here and you can see that it opens and shrinks as per the demand right so it's all done through the styling and we have been copying all of this Please understand that if you try to copy this particular template as is from the github and if you try to make it work with angular it doesn't really work out of the box you'll have to do all the setting and all those changes that i've been doing all that while in order to make a tom uh, template look like this right so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for listening and if you're liking my work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon in case if i post a new video you would be notified so thank you very much once again i'm going to be seeing you in the next tutorial where i'll prepare the table component and more details of all of these chart example bar chart example and other routes in a while so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be seeing you in the next one